Hi, our picket opinions. This is Kara. Going to talk about how YouTube changed my life, and it changed it in lots of ways. There is so much that I rely on YouTube for in my day-to-day -day life. It's retarded. I don't even know what I would do if it went away. I'd freak out. That and Google. I'm just too dependent on YouTube and Google. Like you guys, YouTube and Google, you guys have succeeded in making me absolutely dependent on you because. Everything from looking for recipes to learning how to build to learning anything, anything you want to know about or learn about or study about in any group, any religious group, any friggin' social group, anything is on YouTube, man. If I've got some ingredients in my kitchen, if I've got like this spice and that ingredient and whatever in my cupboard and I don't know what to make with it, Instead, screw like looking for a recipe site, man. I just type in the ingredients I have in my cupboard for dinner that night into the search bar on YouTube, and there'll be like <sighs> dozens of people making some fantastic dish and showing you on YouTube how to make it, which are ingredients that you have in front of you. It's ridiculous. It's awesome how <laughs> much I rely on YouTube for anything, for the any music I want to hear, any song, any artist any multitude of people covering that song, <laughs> any fashion, if I want to get a fashion idea, if I want to, if I've got something in my closet and I don't know what to wear, um, and I'm like, oh, I've got, you know, Doc Martens and a, you know, whatever, just type that in, there'll be a million girls on there showing you how to wear Doc Martens and all these different styles, so it's amazing reference, so it changes my life in that respect, it's like totally my go-to website for anything I want to know. When I was having my baby, I was on YouTube all the time looking at all the different birth methods, all the different people and communities who I could connect to to help me along with my choice of birth method. I met a woman who gave me a CD on here that helped me through my labor. It's awesome. And as far as personally, like I came in through YouTube through the back door, so to speak. Meaning that most people start vlogging and they get comfortable being on camera by making videos on YouTube. And then they move to like blog TV. If they get interested, they start live casting and going live. And that's a whole other ball game. But uh, I kind of went the opposite direction. I started live casting first and then I um, moved live casting, keeping my camera on live and talking to the live audience. Um, no editing, no filters, blah, blah. And then I came to YouTube uh, and started editing and breaking down my videos and going, whoa. So it kind of taught me how to edit. It taught me how to get my point across more concisely. When I first started making videos, of course, I was fumbling, you know, and so I would just record and then I would edit everything in iMovie and I would cut out all the ums and the ohs and the thoughts and the things I didn't want to say, things that didn't make sense. So I learned how to be more concise with my speaking and getting my points across, and I learned how to be creative and make videos and add music and text and pictures and blah, blah, blah. You know, so that's been a fun journey that YouTube ushered all that stuff into my life. But then I started doing a Vita. That was the first vlog project I ever did, which was Vita's vlog every day in April. And you make a vlog every day about anything. And... I, I forced myself to follow through on this month-long, everyday vlogging thing. And it was good because it got me out of my dependency on editing, actually. And it made me get into this whole, I'm just going to make a video with one take. And that was a challenge because at first I was just fumbling and saying, um, um, a lot. And my brain wasn't, you know, mouth to brain wasn't syncing up as efficiently as it does now, I guess. I can talk now without sitting here going... Um, um, you know, how people do. So that's been good. Um, but as far as like changing my life, like I haven't met any best friends on here yet, and which would be cool if I did, but I, um, I've connected with the pagan community, which has been nice. That's been something that's been different and has changed my life. I am opening up and talking about things I have never spoken about that have always been completely 100% private and I'm speaking to a bunch of strangers about it so that's changed my life I think it would be awesome if we I went to VidCon 
and uh, the first year it happened, I went to VidCon, and that was pretty cool, and uh, to see everybody that I had see online, that was an eye-opener, going, whoa, you're right here in front of me, and I'm talking to you, weird, but um, I think it would be neat if Pagans had a YouTube gathering. Almost every community on YouTube has YouTube gatherings for their particular community, and I think it would be awesome if the Pagans had a YouTube gathering, too, because I haven't seen any of that, and if they are out there, point me to them, please. I think it'd be awesome. Um, that's about it. YouTube has changed my life. Nothing majorly dramatic yet. It hasn't, like, taken me from, like, one lifestyle and, like, I don't know. But it's been little changes along the way that have been awesome. And I don't know what else to say about it that's not going to make me be rambling. No, ramble, ramble. I just, I don't want to make this video again, so I want to make sure I cover the, everything that I wanted to say. Uh, that's it. See you later.